simple, simple looking car. Now oh, I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. When the blazing sun is gone, when he nothing shines upon, then you say your little light twinkle, twinkle overnight. as I am concerned, by introducing to you a few friends who have honored me this evening by their presence here. We thank you for a most interesting and delightful evening. We feel that you are to become inventor of a new magic. We regard this invention as destined almost to revolutionize the means of human communication. Cecil Rake, Her Majesty's Postmaster General. I next have the pleasure of introducing to you a name that is as familiar to you and all of our countrymen as it is, I am happy to say, to myself and my family. 
Mr. Edmund Yates. This is the record of a most marvelous dinner, transmitted to you by your most marvelous invention. If I lack words to describe the dinner, it is because I am so enraptured and so enchanted by your invention that I find myself much more stupid than I ought to be after the grand excitement of our friends' meats and wine. Edmund Yates. We will now pass on to the next phonogram, which will begin with a record that I am sure you will receive with infinite delight. Knowing your love for music, I need only say that the record will be the voice of the great composer, Sir Arthur Sullivan. For myself, I can only say that I am astonished and somewhat terrified at the result of this evening experiment. Astonished at the wonderful power you have developed and terrified at the thought that so much hideous bad music may be put on record forever. But all the same, I think it is the most wonderful thing that I have ever experienced, and I congratulate you with all my heart on this wonderful discovery. Arthur Sullivan. My next introduction is Mr. Broadley, well-known English barrister. Now listen to his voice. Here are Miss Fraser's. The Miss Fraser's of the East and the mysteries of Egypt fail before an invention which is doubtless destined to effect a revolution in the means of communication throughout the civilized world. A. M. Broadley, Barrister at Law. Charge your glasses, gentlemen. Uppers, if you please.